National Federation of State High School Associations held its annual summer meeting this past week in Seattle. The event wrapping up last night with a National High School Hall of Fame banquet. This year and for the fourth time in the last five classes, an Oklahoman was honored. The late Alan Trimble, the longtime head coach at Jenks, a part of the 12-member class of 2023. There were wins, a lot of them. There were the championships, 13 in his 22 years in charge. Alan Trimble built Jinx into a powerhouse, finishing with the kind of numbers that get you into Hall of Fame conversation. As you go out there and you settle it, out there on that field. Jinx High School is very popular in Oklahoma, but Jinx High School is well known across the country, and Alan had a lot to do with that. Good job, you're still number one. That's like but successful coaches don't automatically walk into the National High School Hall of Fame. In 40 years, there are now a grand total of 177. It just really was special to me because it just meant that his legacy and his spirit is, is still here. Getting to this point, Alan Trimble's induction into the National High School Hall of Fame on this particular weekend in Seattle may have taken longer than friends and family may have wanted. He'd been nominated for several years. But in a sense, it's just like building a legacy. It takes one step, one individual relationship at a time. She is the backbone, and my dad would say the same thing if he was here. And that started at home with wife Courtney and daughters Tyler and Tori. Everything that he said and did, he followed, and he encouraged us every step of the way to practice what you preach. My dad started his career um, as a father as us, knowing this, this may not be successful, but here we go. I'm going to work hard, and I'm going to devote all I have, um, and that's ultimately faith is what he had, um, to know that there could be something bigger and far greater than just coaching a high school sport. Let's always give you the praise and glory. All the Trojans say. Amen. Hey, let's go. Trimble's influence spread from his home to his players and his coaches. His strong faith, his unshakable foundation. And that didn't change after he was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease in 2016. I'm really proud that all the adversity that life throws at us as a family, um, our football family, um, anybody, um, he. He got through it, and he knew that he would, he would be okay. He just kept trying and not give up. Few, if any, great coaches accomplish much alone. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Courtney Trimble as she comes to accept the award for her late husband. And on this night, Courtney stepped into the spotlight, out of her comfort zone, to remember her husband. Her influence, mainly behind the scenes, but just as important. Not only as a coach's wife, but as a caretaker. My mom devoted her life to my dad, and especially towards the end of his life, um, she was there every second. Faith, family, and football, all a part, in that order, of the Alan Trimble legacy. And so was perspective, even near the end of a difficult road for a man now enshrined in the National High School Hall of Fame. Go out and make sure you're prepared for the tough times. How do you do that? You make sure your faith is secure, you know who you're at, you know who you are, and uh, you have friends around you that are going to support you. And uh, just like I do in this room, I, if I listed all the people who had reached out to me in my tough times, it would we'd be here quite a while. And, by the way, I thank each and every one of you for that. When you visit with Alan's wife, Courtney, and daughters, Tyler and Tori, it takes all of about maybe 15 seconds to understand what Alan Trimble was all about and how well they supported him through everything. And when the induction video played at the banquet, the room fell silent. You could tell everyone there felt the gravity of the story and his accomplishments. A very special night and really happy we were able to be there for it. Well done, John, there. As we talked about it, as of July 1st, the new Big 12 is